Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome, my name is Sarika and today I'm going to be catching up on my travel journal. This is going to be a part of my New York City trip to celebrate my brother-in-law's wedding and in this video I'm just going to be showing you the first part of the travel journal. I still have yet to complete it because there's so much to kind of document and write about and um, paste all of these mementos that I have. I'm also probably going to share with you a few tips um, that I use to create an interesting travel journal. One of those tips is to collect everything. So as you can see here, I've got ticket stubs, maps and brochures, menus from restaurants, business cards, bubble tea vouchers, things like that. Another tip is I kind of make a list um, during my travels on my phone and I just jot down different places that I've been to here and there. And then when I work on my journal, I can refer to it so that I can make sure everything is accurate and I can um, kind of put everything in the right order as well. Um, these are some awesome stickers that are of vintage maps and I think I got these from a friend who bought them from Paper Source. And I just pulled out all the New York City ones so that I could embellish my pages with them. Um, I also took a lot of photos and it was kind of hard to curate those photos, but um, a lot of people ask me how I print them out. I use an Epson EcoTank printer and I love this printer because it just has a huge amount of ink in it and you never run out. I load up... Um, very thin photo paper, very basic photo paper that I just get from Amazon and I print out a bunch of photos at a time. So I arrange them in Photoshop and into a grid, usually about two inches long on the long side and then I chop them down with my paper cutter as you saw earlier in the video. Another thing I like to do in my travel journal is to create kind of a cover page so I write the dates that the trip took place and then I write a little list, um, a little trip summary of all the places I've gone to. So that's this page you saw there and then um, I started on these spreads. So I decided to dedicate a whole spread to my visit to the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA and I decided to just put one of the museum tickets there. And their tickets are so cool, they have um, different um, pieces of art on them. And so since I kind of had a yellow theme, I decided to use that one instead of the Spirited Away one. And then I put a photo of myself in front of an Andy Warhol piece because I work at the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh. And so I just kind of shouted out, oh my gosh, another Warhol, every time I saw one. So. I decided to um, emphasize those things and um, it was such a huge place. I only had two hours and I feel like I could have been there for like a whole entire week just looking at everything and reading everything but since we were limited on time and I wanted to do so much other stuff in New York, um, I kind of zipped through the museum really fast. So after that trip, I went to Pokeworks for lunch and there's my meal there. And then me and my husband went to Uniqlo to check out some of those things. Again, I found more Warhol influence and um, Keith Haring as well. So I decided to choose those backgrounds for the photo booth that they had. And then um, after that, I went to a couple of stationery stores that a few of my Instagram followers had suggested to me. Um, and I chose to go to Kinokuniya, which is a Japanese bookstore that has a really awesome stationery selection in the lower level, and Muji, which I had visited a pop-up store once before in Boston, but um, it was awesome to go to kind of a full-scale Muji store. I bought a few notebooks, pens, and pencils. I loved it. Um, as far as this page goes, I felt like I didn't have enough room to write down my thoughts and feelings about all of the events that happened during those um, trips. So I just dedicated a whole spread to just writing out all of those things. 
and um, yeah let me know if you have any questions about any of the supplies I used I'm gonna try to list all of them in the video description below um, but until next time I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and um, I'll see you in a future video bye